this one right here, right? We are going to find the only x value, the past the x value, so that this equation is true. And later on, I can ask you guys why you think that we need the x is greater than zero. All right, but of course, go ahead and try it first if you would like. Done. All right. This right here seems not bad at all, right? Because we have this x time uh, to the this power times x to that power. What we do is just add the exponents first. So this right here is just x, and then this is negative one plus square root of two. And then we add the second power, which is negative 1 minus square root of 2, like this, and that's equal to 16. Square root of 2 minus square root of 2 is just 0, negative 1, negative 1, right? So it's x to a negative 2. And now it's equal to 16. And now it depends on how you want to solve it. You can write this as 1 over x squared equals 16. And then you can multiply 16 on, you can multiply x squared on both sides, divide 16 on both sides. So this means x squared is equal to 1 over 16, right? Put that down there, put that here. And then finally, you just take the square roots on both sides. Cancel, cancel, plus or minus. And then we get x equals plus or minus, right? But we just want x is greater than 0. So just 1 over square root of 16, which is just a 4. And you are done.